Hey guys, welcome back to our show. We got a great show lined up for today. Before we get going, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can get all the latest content and updates from Power Mechanical. Today we're talking all about uh, uh, boiler retubing, so let's just get to it. So last week we were talking about scale and the harmful deposits that hard water can leave inside our steam boilers. And today I thought it would be a good opportunity to tell you a little bit about the results of not properly combating these contaminants. So as mentioned, the water inside a boiler, whether a fire tube or a water tube, can introduce harmful mineral deposits onto the boiler's tubes. In a fire tube boiler, the scale would accumulate on the exterior of the boiler's tubes, whereas on a water tube, the scale would be a factor on the interior walls of the tube. Once this filth and scum starts to accumulate, it slowly begins decreasing the boiler's ability to efficiently heat the water. Likewise, the tubes then begin getting overheated due to the water not being able to properly cool the metal tubes. Damage can also come from pitting or corrosion of the boiler's tubes due to dissolved gases within the boiler water. If affected areas of the tube or tubes is isolated and at a minimum, then a tube may be plugged in order to continue operations. Each time a tube is plugged, however, it does derate the boiler's capacity and its efficiency. Likewise, partial or even single tube replacements can be done. However, usually this is all just dependent on the amount of damage to the existing tube. If a boiler shows significant signs of or excessive tube damage, then a complete retubing may be necessary. So steam boiler retubing is exactly what it sounds like. The tubes within a boiler are, are replaced. Now there are times when a retubing is more cost efficient and then times when it may not be. A facility has to consider several factors when a retube becomes necessary. In most cases, retubing a boiler, especially in a fire tube boiler, the replacement of tubes is far less of an expense than replacing the entire boiler. Once all of the tubes are replaced and each tube is rolled, welded, or beaded out, the boiler will have a hydro test performed and once satisfactory, then can be placed back in service. Boiler retubing should only be done by qualified boiler repair professionals. A national board R stamp certification, which is required, shows that a company has satisfied the requirements needed to perform these types of repairs. It further shows that the organization has a well-defined quality control program associated with these type of repairs along with specific scopes of work to meet these strict guidelines. This QA program is designed in accordance with the National Board Inspection Code, which provides standards for the installation, inspection, repair, or alteration of all boilers and pressure vessels. So the best combat against needing a retubing is to have a strategic water treatment plan, which includes appropriate chemical and mechanical treatment methods, along with proper maintenance and monitoring. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you liked this show. And if you did, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. Other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.